Hello friends, this video on Improvement in Food Resources Part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we will end our discussion on poultry farming. So now we will start the next topic that is fish production. Now fish production is quite straightforward. Fish is a, what is the purpose here? Purpose is nothing but fish. Because fish is a protein rich diet. It has a lot of protein. So often people advise or those who are non-vegetarian, they, they prefer eating more of fish because it is the most healthiest of all of them. Because it has lesser content of fat and more of protein. Right? So it is a protein rich diet. Now, how do we obtain fish? Fishes are found in aquatic medium in rivers, ponds, lakes, oceans. So they, those are the places where <coughs> fishes are found. So how do we obtain fish from there? There are two ways to obtain fish. The first one is capture fishing. What is capture fishing? The fishermen, as you would have seen, fishermen go with the fishing nets and catch fish from the ponds or rivers. So that is known as capture fishing. So here fish from natural resources like ponds, river and sea are caught not only by a fisherman by anybody using the fishing net or something right so you directly go to the natural resources or the natural places where fishes occur and you catch fishes so that is called capture fishing you directly obtain fish from its natural place of occurrence the other one is culture fishery what is culture fishery it means commercially raising fish in tanks or enclosures now it was seen that the demand of fish could not be met just by capture fishing because when people went to the natural resources and caught fish that could not meet the demands of the population so what they started doing they started with culture fishery that is they got few fishes and put them in a tank which has water now what will happen those few fishes will start living in that water they will reproduce give birth to new fishes so that particular tank will again become a source of fishes so you get more fishes here so this is a commercially raised area where you get fishes so this is known as culture fishery right so one is capture fishing which happens from the natural resources and one is culture fishery which is which is artificially created area where fishes can reproduce and gives give us more fish now there are two kind of fisheries one is marine fisheries and the other one is inland fisheries when i talk of marine fisheries i'll be talking about the fishes which are found in oceans and seas when i talk of inland fisheries we will be talking about the freshwater fishes the fishes which are present in ponds lakes rivers etc so let us first talk about the marine fisheries fishes which are found in ocean or sea or sea water so I'll, I'll name some of the popular marine fishes i know this will sound very weird for people and this will sound new to people who are vegetarian but those who are habituated with eating fishes you must have heard many of these names for example pomfret it is a popular marine fish mackerel tuna betki prawns oysters these are some of the popular marine fishes which are found in oceans and sea water so if you have ever been to sea beaches you will see that the food which you get around that locality would be one of these fishes so when you when we talk of uh, oysters these oysters again they they contain pearl inside them all of you know what is pearl right we often use pearl jewelries correct okay so these pearls are contained inside oysters so when people catch oysters they uh, take out the pearl from inside the oyster and then the oyster is used for eating purposes so these are some of the popular marine fishes now how do we obtain marine fishes so again the same method one is capture fishing where people go using fishing nets from the fishing boats so if you go to some ocean or sea area you will see that there are big boats which go to almost towards the quite deep in i mean quite far away from the seashore and they 
using the fishing nets they catch fishes so that is known as capture fishing so this capture fishing means they are catching fish directly from its natural resource that is directly from the sea another way to obtain marine fishes is culture fishing that means you actually take some marine fishes put them in some tank or something and then you grow them there so what you do here commercially raising marine fishes in enclosed portion of ocean or tanks or enclosures with sea water but we need to make sure that we are creating the environment of a sea it is basically like virtually creating a sea somewhere else because the fishes are not aware of how big the sea is they just know their surroundings right so if you take that fish and keep it in a small tank but the tank also has the sea water the fish will not distinguish much because then again when it comes to the tank its surroundings will still remain the same because it has the same kind of water again so now the fish will start getting used to in that tank it will start reproducing it will give more fishes so that is how you can get more fishes right that is called culture fishing so these are the two ways so we can obtain marine fishes by both the ways this culture fishing is often known as mari culture mari the word mari has come from the marine right so that is called mari culture now sometimes this mari culture is not only done in tanks and enclosures sometimes it is also done in an enclosed portion of the ocean maybe that big ocean inside that ocean they will enclose a small portion of the ocean where they'll put some fishes and that will be used for culture fishing so now let us talk about inland fisheries so these are the freshwater fishes which are found in water resources like canals ponds reservoirs and rivers now not only in inland fisheries we not only talk about the freshwater resources we also talk about the brackish water resources what is brackish water brackish water is a combination of sea water and fresh water these are the places where oceans and um, rivers meet so you have a combination of sea water and fresh water that is called brackish water so brackish water is found in estuaries and lagoons what are estuaries these are the areas where as i said oceans and sea uh, sorry oceans and rivers meet so these are the places where you have brackish water so you can see fishes in fresh waters as well as in brackish water so both fresh water and brackish water will fall under inland fisheries so some of the popular fresh water fishes are katla silver carp rohu grass carp mriga and mrigal so these are some of the inland fishes right so generally it is seen that at least in india this freshwater fishes are comparatively cheaper when compared to the marine fishes the marine fishes are pretty expensive right now so so far we talked about where, where why why do we do uh, fish production where do we find fishes and how do we get fishes so now let us see how do we obtain the freshwater fishes for inland fisheries how do we obtain these fishes so again the first option was capture fishing but here the yield of capture fishing is not that great even though people go with their fishing nets to rivers or to ponds but the yield is not that great because they are not very i mean there are not too many fishes available there i mean when compared to the demand right so the yield of capture fishing is not that great as far as inland fisheries is concerned so for inland fisheries people mostly depend on culture fishing that means the same concept again as how it was ma mari culture now here it is aquaculture that was mari culture which was derived from the word marine and this is aquaculture aqua which means water the term aqua means water so in this what do they do few fish species are used in a single fish pond selected such that they have different food habits so i just in the previous slide i named so many different types of fishes right so for example somebody will take some three varieties a rohu katla and silver carp these three varieties they'll take and they'll put it in a small pond now they will select the species in such a way that they have different food habits why because if all of them have the same food habits then as the population will keep increasing in that fish fish pond everybody will start competing for the same food 
so they will not get proper nutrients now if they have different food habits it will be independent even though their population will keep increasing some people will have some requirements some will have some other requirements so their nutrients requirement will be fulfilled right so this is known as culture fishing so for inland fisheries the I mean, as far as obtaining fish is concerned, we are more dependent on culture fishing as compared to capture fishing. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.